In part one of my Washington DC Titanic exploration, we visited DC's little known Titanic Memorial. But did you know that there are two other memorials linked to the infamous sinking ship also right here in the nation's capital? Let's start with the first, in a forgotten clearing on a patch of grass near the White House. This is the Butt Millet Fountain, built after the sinking of the Titanic to commemorate two men who went down with the ship. He would have just walked right by it. There's so much history here. Back with me exploring as always, Ranger Mike with the National Park Service says this fountain remembers Major Archibald Butt, an advisor to the 27th President William Howard Taft, and Francis Davis Millet, a local artist and vice chair of DC's Commission of Fine Arts. Uh, the one here uh, represents art uh, for Millet, and on the other side is a depiction of chivalry and that is for Major Butt. Out of all the people who perished in the Titanic sinking, Mike told me these two got a monument because Butt was a trusted advisor to not just one, but two presidents, Taft and Teddy Roosevelt. Butt and Millet actually shared a home on G Street, and Mike says it's thought they were more than friends. And their relationship has been the, the subject of of speculation over the years. In a real-life Titanic movie love story, Mike told me Millet, who also knew President Taft, begged him to give Butt a vacation because he was suffering from exhaustion in his role as military advisor. The two men go to Europe for six weeks uh, and then book return passage on the Titanic. When the ship sank, President Taft was devastated, unaware of his friend had survived. And just two days after the Titanic sank, he was scheduled to dedicate yet another statue on the National Mall. Taft is bereft at the thought of the loss of one of his closest advisors. But he went anyway to dedicate this monument to an American Revolutionary War hero. John Paul Jones is the first great American naval hero, sometimes referred to as the father of the American Navy. Mike told me the British ambassador was also also supposed to attend, but sent regrets that morning, adding it wouldn't be appropriate to attend a Navy monument dedication ceremony after the maritime disaster. Taft will speak at the, at the dedication of the memorial here, but as soon as it's over, he goes right back to the White House and waits for any updates updates that may have come in. When the deaths of Butt and Millet were confirmed, the process of dedicating a memorial to them started almost immediately. Ultimately, Taft is the one who signs the legislation authorizing the uh, the construction of the, of the fountain. Today, Mike tells me those monuments still stand and are maintained regularly. Tributes to those gone, but not forgotten. Wrapping up another history lesson here in the district, I'm Matt Koufax, WTOP News. For more stories like this, download and listen to WTOP Radio on our app or tune in to 103.5 FM.